The principle of physics that explains how the curvature of a wing allows it to generate lift is known as Bernoulli's principle. It's named after Daniel Bernoulli. And you could state it pretty simply like this. As the velocity of a fluid increases, As the velocity of a fluid increases, increases, the pressure it exerts decreases. As the velocity of a fluid increases, the pressure it exerts decreases. Now that might not seem at all obvious to you. It might even seem counterintuitive. You might think if the air is moving faster, it could exert more pressure. This isn't the air hitting into something, exerting a force by direct impact. This is the air moving by something, moving past it or moving across it. As the air or water, it could be a liquid as well. But as the fluid moves, it exerts less pressure with, as it moves with greater speed. And I'll show you some simple experiments you can do to verify this. We're not going to try to prove this theoretically, but we can show some very simple experiments that you can do right in your home that should prove to you that this is in fact the case. Bernoulli's principle. I also want to mention Newton's third law when we're talking about an airplane wing because Newton's third law comes into play, into play also. Most physics books only talk about Bernoulli's principle when they're talking about lift. And there's a reason for that. Bernoulli's principle is interesting and it has a wide application beyond just the lift generated by airplane wings. But Newton's third law is just as important. We saw earlier the wing of the Wright brothers glider and the wing was relatively flat and as the air hit the wing it got deflected down and that resulted in an upward force on the wing. Well, airplane wings typically have the same thing. Even though they're curved on top, they're also, they're also moving into the air at a bit of an angle. And I'll draw this a bit exaggerated here. But suppose this is the airplane wing, and it's moving in this direction. As the air flows over the top, it moves more quickly across the top. But air on the bottom is also deflected down some because of the angle of attack of the wing. And as the air is deflected down, the wing is pushed up. So that's Newton's third law. The wing exerts a downward force on the air, therefore the air exerts an upward force on the wing. So you can generate lift with a perfectly flat wing like this if you slice it through the air at an angle like that. In a typical airplane, both of those are going on at once. Bernoulli's principle with the faster air movement on the top and the reduced pressure on the top is generating some of the lift and the deflection of the air downward is generating some of the lift. It's a combination of the two. Both Bernoulli's principle and Newton's third law are responsible for keeping an airplane in the air.